So many people experience stuttering and among them 60 to 70 still face stuttering even after optimization, if I'm not mistaken. Well, optimization can boost your FPS to a certain extent, but at the same time, there are some games where you might realize that despite certain settings, visual or sound indicating better FPS or stable smooth performance is not the case. I have uploaded Numerius optimization guide and if you want to optimize for FPS performance, you can find the link in the description to check them out. Optimization includes Windows optimization, specific games optimizations, and NVIDIA graphic settings optimizations. Today's video is about Shader Cache and many viewers may not have an idea about it. They might have seen Shader Cache while clearing the C drive cache or in the NVIDIA control panel but they might not know much about it. In short, a shader cache is a collection of pre-compiled graphic shaders that a computer or gaming console stores to optimize the loading and executions of graphic effects in video games or other physical applications. The shader cache store various shaders that define graphic effects in the game or applications. This can include shaders responsible for rendering shadows, handling lightning effects, simulating reflections, and even despiting the visual effect associated with action like shooting a weapon. But storing these shaders in a cache, the system can quickly retrieve and reuse them. Optimizing the rendering process and improving overall performance when you play a game or run a graphical application. Note, First, we will temporarily disable shader cache so that we can delete it from the computer. For that, just right click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Now click on the manage 3D settings and on the right side in the global settings just scroll down and find the shader cache. Just click on it and disable. Hit apply. Now leave this window open because after deleting the cache, we will come back there to enable it. Now let's delete the shader cache. Sometimes older or outdated or corrupted shader cache can cause stuttering in game. So we will delete the older shader cache first. Just hold the windows plus R key on your windows then type here percentage local app data percentage. Hit enter. Now select any folder and press N key from your keyboard to get to open the nvidia folder and then gl cache and then select ctrl plus a and delete these folders now click on the app data once again local low nvidia per driver versions open it and dx cache open this folder ctrl a again shift delete click on yes now do this for all current items if this actions can't be completed because the file is open in NVIDIA app so just check this option and click on skip and then close this folder. Now delete the remaining shader cache for that click on the windows icon search for cleanup and hit enter just click on the windows icon disk cleanup and hit open. Now select the driver in which you have the operating system in my case I have C drive and then click on ok. Now make sure you are deleting the cache. For now we are looking for DirectX shader cache. You can uncheck other options or select them and delete. But make sure you know what you are doing. Right now we are selecting each and every option from here and then click on delete. Once again delete files. Now we will re-enable shader cache for that again go back on the nvidia control panel manage 3d settings then global and then shader cache size. Click on the drop menu and then choose here the maximum size for shader cache. You can increase the size if you want but make sure you have enough space in your C drive to store the shader cache or you can clean it daily not a big deal. In my case I'm going with 100 GB or you can set here the unlimited so every day you can just clean it up and then hit apply. I hope today's video was helpful for you. Kindly like this video, drop your feedback, subscribe to this YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any upcoming videos. Have a good day. Bye bye.